Hey guys, A Simulation here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are jumping into the Eco Lifestyle Build By Overview. So right now we are starting off with doors. Overall, I was surprised by how little stuff is actually in the pack. It's a very small expansion pack. Now most expansion packs average around like 1.7 gigabytes and this one's about 1.39, which is about the same size as island living actually so it is a smaller expansion pack though we get more meaty gameplay than other expansion packs so we might take a loss on some of the stuff for the meteor gameplay but yeah these are the doors all the doors and windows kind of have similar wood swatches sorry i could not think of the word for the life of me um some of them obviously don't have the same wood swatches but we'll get to that later these are some windows here we're gonna kind of move fast in this i didn't want to do like a very long build by overview just because it can be kind of redundant after a while but yeah these are some of the windows they do come in very similar um wood swatches there are a couple though that I noticed that don't have the same swatches and I was kind of mad about that. Also you can see that these windows here are placed on the half tile now. That is a base game update and I'm super excited about that. But yeah, I think all the windows are pretty cool. The only thing I don't like about the windows and the doors, which I think is an overall opinion of the Sims community, is how they jut out. I think it's just, they look too bulky. I don't like the bulkiness I'm not a fan but overall I think that these items look very good especially for builders I think builders are gonna have a lot of fun incorporating a lot of this stuff and then also doing the ship container building but yeah so we're gonna finish up with windows here and now you guys can see some of the wallpapers I put a couple swatches down and then I left up the little wallpaper tab just so you guys can see the wallpaper looks pretty good I like the woods the shipping containers and the metals I think that there's a good variety of eco and industrial here and then there is one that's not up and I'm gonna put a couple more of the shipping containers up in just a second when I can ta not click out of the tag like I always do but yeah there's a lot of cool colors i want to build a pink shipping container because i haven't seen anyone do that yet and i think the pink color looks really phenomenal and then there's this like really simple plaster wall which is really cool they have like the swatches that are plain like the ones i just put down and then the swatches with the same colors just like as a little panel on the bottom and i think that's really cool and i really like that wallpaper as well as all the wallpapers so i'm just gonna kind of pan through these ones really quickly i really like the blue colors that comes with this pack and i'm super excited to build and in just a second i'm going to do some flooring now we have the shipping container flooring which is pretty awesome there's two types there i put a couple colors down we have three new grass floorings one darker one lighter and then a floral one we have a hexagon wood pattern and then a really nice wood floor that I'm super excited about. And as you guys can see, the flooring is still up there as well. So you can look at them all. And then we're going to move on to fencing, I believe. I was just looking to see if there was any like uh, greenery and stuff. These fences here, the ones, um, the wooden ones, they come in three sizes. That I only put two down, but they cut, or no, I put all three down. They come in all different wall sizes so you can use them for whatever wall you use. I think the fences look good. There's no matching gate however which is kind of sad. And then I'm just going to put down a couple quick columns. We have an industrial metal column here and then we have the wooden column that comes in these swatches as well that matches in quotation marks all the swatches in game. And now I'm just kind of looking through some build by stuff and then I'm going to build this little house here to show off some of the roof features so this I am horrible with camera this roof here is actually a solar panel roof which is why it kind of looks a little weird then we have two shipping container roofs that yellow is so bright in the daytime you can't even see it um, but I think the shipping container roofs look good I think they're also good for like industrial builds and maybe even I don't even know if modern builds have those but I like the two different textures that you have there and then the last one that we have is the living roof so again those three grass textures that we saw for the floor you can also put on the roof and then we have some roof accessories so we have a new chimney 
I think this chimney looks really good. I'm very happy with it. I think it will look really good in a lot of different types of builds, which is great. We have the roof solar panels. So we have roof solar panels and we have normal solar panels that go on like the ground. So these are some of the roof ones. I think both of the solar panels come in like all different types of swatches. I think this one has more actually. And same with like the little wind turbine on the roof. It also has more swatches than the ground one. And I think these ones are so cute. And I think they come in really good colors and obviously some like out there colors, but I think that's totally fine. And then I'm just kind of looking to see if there's any new like other types of stuff. So like, um, I don't even know what half that stuff I looked at is called. But now we're going to jump in. I'm going to do a quick look at ladders. Um, the lighting gets a little weird. They are in the stairs category. And you see that's like, they have the wood tones and then they also have like different colored ones. You can't use the design tool, which I learned. But that's totally fine. And I'm struggling here. I wanted to put it on the outside to show the lighting a lot better, but it, you can't do it when it's on a foundation, which I think is important to know, so it doesn't extend up. You actually have to put it either like on a foundationless house or in the house. So I think that's something to know. And again, I try the design tool. I never learn. And it comes in a lot of cool colors. I liked the blue one the best and kind of see you can move it around. And then if you go up, you can see them at the top. I think ladders are a great addition. And now we're jumping really quickly into beds. So there are a lot of cool beds. The first two are kids beds. Um, and then we have the double bed. And then we have that really cute toddler bed. I actually didn't go through the fabrication um, things that you can make. So I apologize about that. I just realized I didn't do the fabricated um, furniture, but we're gonna explore that in a Let's Play coming up that I'm bringing to the channel. Next, we have different types of chairs. One thing to note is that one of the chairs actually is later on, so we're not gonna see one of the chairs right now. And then one of those three chairs that look like dining chairs actually don't work. And I think it's the second one I showed off right next to the um, cloth chair. That one doesn't attach to a dining room table or one of them doesn't, which I think is kind of disappointing. This outdoor bench, that grass looks horrible and I'm really disappointed with that, but I think it's still a cool idea. I love these couches. These are awesome. I like how the blanket is on the back of that couch too. And then we have a new lawn chair or lounge chair, which I think is pretty cool. It's not the best design, but I think they all look good. Moving quickly to surfaces. This is our dining room table here. Pretty nice, I really like it. Now this, I'm not sure, I don't think this is a bookshelf, but it's a nice little surface to have. Um, I actually looked to see if it was a bookshelf and I didn't see it that it was. This is like a little end table that you can put behind your couch. It's a shorter one. Um, you can put it at the end of the bed too. We have this really cute little nightstand, which has a really pretty top. I really like the design of that one. This is not a dining room table, this is just an end table, kind of disappointing, but again, I really like this little table. This is another like little hallway table. I love these tall little hallway tables. I think they are really cool. And then we have two coffee tables. This one, they're both very large. I like the um, designs on that one. And then this one's really cool because it looks like it's repurposed with different types of wood. So those are our surfaces, and now we're moving on to shelving. And some of these are bookshelves. So these shelvings look really great. Um, each one I think has like little plants on it, which I think is really cool. So, and there's little slots to put stuff on. This is the bookshelf, I believe. And this one comes in a lot of really cool wood swatches. Not all of them match though with the wood swatches of other things. This is a great little uh, end piece to put into like a bathroom or something. This is like a little laundry room type piece. I think that's really cool to incorporate that. Then we have like a little gardening shelf, which I also think is cool. I'm not sure how many of these little spots you can put, or like how many slots there are per item, but you can, I'm assuming, put some stuff in some of the shelves. And then we have this little shelf. I think this is a bookshelf too. This is kind of like the Ikea looking set with this pack. So I think these shelves are really awesome. And that one comes in a lot of cool swatches as well. Moving on to the bathroom, we have like an outdoor sink, it has a hose on the side of it, um, and there's like a rainbow one which I thought was really cute. This bathroom set is interesting, so it's basically like repurposed stuff and like those little 
um, different colored like chunks or like fix stuff so like if you think of like that ramen challenge that happened where you like put the ramen and you like fix stuff I imagine that's like it's like kind of the same concept where like those little glass pieces are just add-ins moving on to the skill building stuff this is the candle maker here and it comes in some cool swatches and then we have the juice scissor which also comes in cool swatches fabricator which looks really modern and I only like the first swatch there. The selling table has a lot of cute little um, little banners which I think is awesome. This is the bug box. There's like a hand painted one which I think looks really pretty. And then this is the vertical garden and it comes in a lot of nice wood swatches that matches the other wood swatches of the pack. Of course it is missing some and then I just put this in there because this showed up. This is I think a little drink shop that you can go to um to buy stuff in like community lots i'm pretty sure that's what that is and then we are now going to move on to the eco stuff for the ground so that's our wind turbines it doesn't have as many swatches and same with this solar panel these both just sit on the ground the wind turbines are obviously taller this is a dew collector this is kind of like a repurposed dew collector we have a generator here this is the recycler this is a nicer dew collector and then this machine that i'm going to last is i believe also a dew collector so you can kind of choose which one you want and each one like there are better ones to choose moving on to like window stuff these are awnings we have a small glass one a big glass one with matching kind of matching swatches we have a wooden one which is nice and then we have a flower box with that same like grass texture as that bench before so it doesn't look the best but that's fine. I'm still glad we got something. Moving right into plants here. We have a ton of plants to go through. I think these plants are beautiful and I'm so happy that we have plants in this pack. I mean, it makes sense because it's an eco stuff pack, but I think these plants look amazing. These big ones right here look really cool. There's a lot of cute little ones as well, which I'm really excited about. This tree is beautiful. The only thing is there is a bug where this tree is only listed as one tile, so you can put it through the wall, so just be careful of that. We have vertical wall plants, which look cool, which come in the wood swatches of the pack. And then we have this little pot here that looks really pretty. I love that. I wish the colors changed, or the flowers changed colors, but that's fine. You can make like a little wood wall with this one as well. And then we have this really cool little succulent um, rock thing, I believe. Then we have another wall hanging plant. So you can pretend, you can put this like alongside your vertical gardens to pretend that you're growing these plants as well. Again, that grass texture is horrible. And I really like the painted ones. It kind of like makes you think of like kids have painted these boxes, which I think is cool that they added that element to a lot of stuff. Those are plants, and let's see what we're moving on to next. Ah, this is just my miscellaneous deco that just kind of was last. Love that dinosaur in there. I'm a big dinosaur fan and got a dinosaur tattoo. This is the chair that I was saying that kind of just showed up at the end. We have a nice mirror with the same wood tones. I really like that mirror. A cute juice fizz tray, which I think is really beautiful. Another little flower thing that wasn't included in the plants category, or maybe it is, it just wasn't went in like a row. And then that's like a little bowl to put, nothing in it. And this is a really cute dollhouse. It's cardboard and it represents the seasons. We have a bird feeder, which there's also a swatch that looks like it was painted by kids, which I think is awesome. We have a little laundry basket. I'm really excited that they incorporated some laundry stuff in. And then finally, we have another arts and crafts table for the kids, which is crazy. I don't understand why we keep getting them. Moving on to miscellaneous um, outdoor deco. This is like a little gardening bench. It's not, you can't use it, but I think it's a really cool little deco piece. We have this like awning covering thing that you can put out and it comes in some really funky, cool colors. I think it's really cool for industrial builds and it is seen in the trailer. I think it looks really cool. And then this is like a community garden um, entry or even you could just put your garden and then you see like a little simlish there. And then we're moving on, I believe, to wall deco next, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Okay. So we have our little space heater there. That's like our fireplace for the pack. It's industrial, so just be careful. We have these little wooden wall pieces. They come in all size, um, wall size heights. I only put the first two down, but they come in all three. 
we have these deco pieces here. This one's like a, I don't know, like a glass cool piece. These ones come in all wall sizes. I'm sad the flowers don't change colors though. This is a little succulent shelf that's for decor. That's pretty cool. We have another little flower that goes against the wall. Wish the flowers change colors. This is a little glass piece as well. I put it on a window and it looks kind of cool in the window, so maybe do that. These remind me of like fish um, scales. It's a cool piece. I'm not really sure. I guess it's like repurposed like glass or something. Here are some curtains. We have some great curtains and like plain swatches as well as fun swatches. This little wooden leaf thing looks really cool. This little wooden, I don't even know. You can make cool designs with that. Same curtains, same swatches, just in a longer um, curtain rod. And those are our like wall deco pieces. And I think we get a lot and I think they're really cool. All right, moving on to rugs and just miscellaneous stuff that ended up being at the end. These rugs are really plain and simple, which I like, and they're kind of awkward sizes, but I think they work really well with this pack, and I really like them. This is my favorite item, decoration item. Look at how beautiful these pictures are. I wish you could hang those pictures on the wall. They are beautiful, and I think that one is my favorite. It's just gorgeous. Of course, we got our dumpster here as well, graffiti, non graffiti whatever you'd like. And then this is a storage box, which I think is really cool that Sims has incorporated a storage box. So you can just put a bunch of stuff in there and I think that's really cool. And now we're moving on to the last one, which is dressers. We have really cool dressers. We have a dresser that matches that coffee table with the repurposed wood pieces. And then we have like our Ikea furniture dresser. I think this one looks really well as well. And that's about it. I kind of, I'm going to go through like some of the stuff just to show you what we didn't get. Like obviously kitchen stuff we didn't get and kind of go through and just show you what items are what. We didn't get a bar, which is interesting. Usually we always get bars with packs, so I'm very surprised. But anyway, guys, I think that this is ending up the Build By um, episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed the overview, and I hope that this helps you guys decide whether you want the pack or not. For the month of June, every 10 likes I get, I donate $10 to an organization that I choose in the bio, so look out for that. I'm not sure what the organization for this episode is yet, but just keep an eye out and read the description. It's gonna be all organizations like Black Lives Matter and things that help support the protesters for the George Floyd protests, as well as just protests to end racism and systemic racism in the United States. So please look out for in the description for the organization. Please like the video. Like I said, every 10 likes, I give $10. And I'm also gonna do petitions. Feel free to comment in the comment section and let me know of any organizations that you want me to donate it to in your honor. Anyway guys, I hope that this build by overview was a great way for you to take a look at the pack and I will see y'all next time. Thank you.